What's up, everybody? Jason here with Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. 1920 Upper Deck and Grain Hockey Five Box Case Break Pick Number Eight just sold out. It's the second half of the Master, so let's get it rolling. All right, her Pick Issue Number Eight sold out straight up. There you go. Last ball mode is going to go to Adam. Got the Jets. Let's get it rolling, guys. Good luck. Should be a pretty nice case right here. So we didn't pull anything monstrous. But the first enter we got. So let's see what we got hiding here, guys. Good luck. We got Synthesis, Roman Yossi for the Preds. We got Henrik Lundqvist to two ninety nine for the Rangers. Zachary was that one. And Rasmus Sandy. We got ourselves rookie signature shots. Nico Sturm to 249. Beautiful autograph. Very nice. Next one we got. How about two rookie signature shots? This time it's Nick Suzuki. 59 out of 99. Very nice. Habs, it's going to Mike with the Canadiens. And we got for the Red Wings, that is Larry Murphy to 100. Ah, oh, no, Ryan. Bossman's doing, like I said, some renovating, so he's he's got a little hammer. Hitting something. Red Wings with that one. That's going to Mike. Next one. Patrick Kane for the Hawks. And that's an update right there of Carter Hart. It should be a little rookie, right? Oh no, this is 1920, I guess. Maybe not. Almost looks like the old one. Oh, but I guess it is a rookie. Yeah, it is. It is an update, 1920. He should have been a rookie, 1819. And we got ourselves some legendary shots out of 10, Cam Neely. Legendary signature shots. There you go. A little red ink on there. And another signature shots for the uh, Senators. That is Rudolph Belsers. Nick with Ottawa Senators. And we got Julien, rookie auto for the Carolina Hurricanes. Jack with the Hurricanes. I did not. I don't remember watching Dumb and Dumb. I mean, I might have when I was a kid, but. And then we got a little Lucky Luke Robitaille Calder Trophy, 1986 87. 
Can you believe that this dude won the Calder? And was, like, picked in, like, the last, like, I don't even know what round it was. I thought this guy was going to be a nobody. But what do you know? Hall of Fame career. I think still the highest scoring left winger of all time. Pretty crazy if you think about it. I don't even remember what round he was picked. I think he was... You know who was picked before? This guy was that pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. What's his name? Jack? Um... <laughs> He was picked way higher than Luke. Than Luke. Blavin, that's right. Tom Blavin was. <laughs> that goes to show you guys, right? All right, next one. I mean, I guess Tom Glavin, though, was a pretty good hockey player, though. But. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure he's going to get passed up soon, Jack. But at least for now, Luke had that. Luke's had that since he's retired. But he'll get passed up, I'm sure. All right, we got <coughs> Igor. Little synthesis. <coughs> You got Curtis Joseph. Blues edition. Bowser's. Then we got Alexi. Or, uh, sorry, yeah. Alexi's. Uh, Surelia. Other one for the Tigers. This is actually for the Florida Panthers. Do you want a Nick? And then we got signature flexures. Joe Thornton. San Jose Sharks going to Mike G. Looks like he kind of autographed this part right there. Brennan Shanahan. Devils. Devils edition of Brennan Shanahan. How about that? That's pretty cool. 92 out of 100. All right, two more boxes, guys. John Tavares synthesis. All right, we got Keith Kachuk. And we got Wall Street. Let's skip that and let's go to the bottom. We got John Gibson to 65, little three color patch. For the Dukes, Mike with the Anaheim Ducks. And then we got Brady Keeper to 249. Another one for the Florida Panthers going to Nick. Yeah, Victor, well, let's sell it out, man, and then we can see what it looks like. I think that's the second half, so there should be some nice stuff maybe hiding there. All right, and here you go, guys. Good luck. It's one of those uh, carbon fiber cards, right? Nice. Synthesis, Alexander Barkov. Stud. Stud centerman right there. Very undervalued, too. Florida Panthers with a good break. Nick with that one. That's pretty awesome. Very nice. 
Uh, it's just a buyback product, Victor, that's all. So, you know, we do our Jaspi breaks. Well, Hit Parade does its own. Uh, it's basically one card per box. It is a buyback, so it could be from any product any year. And uh, obviously, there's like a little bit of a sell sheet-ish where it tells you what players you could expect in there. But obviously, it's a broad range of, of, of products in there. And who knows who actually pops out in every box. So, I think Nick in the item description kind of gives you a little idea of what it is. So... I mean, you can always read the item description for a little bit more details. So, here you go. Read about it, man. There is a little bit of, little bit of info in there if you read the item description. Alright, last box. Ooh, a little Gordy Howe. And synthesis for the Sabres, 20 out of 50. Little Jack Eichel. Sabres going to Jack. Little Gordy Howe to 299. RIP Mr. Hockey. And Felipe Myers. Alright, good luck, guys. Last box. We got Joey Decord. To 99 for the Senators. Nice break for the Ottawa Senators, Nick, as well. I, well, I think I can say it over the air. I just can't tell you guys over the website or stuff like that. But I don't, I actually don't even know how much these boxes are. We don't have any for sale here. But I don't think they're more than like $200 a box. I'm sure you can find the price online. 27 out of 35, little Debrin Cat. And, actually, we have two more hits here. Carl Grunstrom, rookie for the LA Kings. Jacob Johnson with that one. And here we go. Good luck. It's one of those wood cards. And it's a Gordy Howe carved in time. And these actually smell like fresh cut wood. These are like lasered on. My brother actually does these laser engravings at his job. And beautiful card right there. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Carved in time, Gordy Howe. And I think this year's edition, they autographed some of these. It's made it even nicer. But look at that. Great detail in there. This is awesome. Upper deck always thinking outside the box. Like that. Detroit. Going to Mike G. There you go. And that's usually the case here. And there you go, guys. That was the break. This was Upper Deck and Grain Hockey 5-box case break. Pikachu's number 8. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.